Okay, Josh, the next video that I'm going to show you um, kind of has to deal with that doohickey you showed me. Uh, I said that you could use a tennis ball. That would be ideal. It would save you money, and it's actually a little bit more useful. I'm going to use this Qigong ball as a demo piece just because I don't have a tennis ball with me. But obviously, tennis balls are not solid steel, and they have a little bit of give to them. So it's easy to pin it on the ground. You can also use those racket balls, those blue racket balls that you see people use um, when they play in the gym. Okay, so you just basically want to set it on the floor. And the reason the ball is actually really efficient is because not only um, can you target all of the plantar fascia, um, but you can go lengthwise against the fibers in the, in the same direction to the fibers, or you can go perpendicular to the fibers. And it's really good too if you squish down a little bit and you go in circular motions on the heel, you can really isolate that pain that you're having in your calcaneus, and um, you can really isolate where the tendon is uh, inserting onto that calcaneus, as well as your medial arch, your transverse arch out front, and your lateral arch to the side. Just kind of apply a moderate pressure, it gradually increasing as you can stand it. And uh, I would do this for maybe like 30 seconds at a time, maybe do like two or three sessions um, in one sitting, and you can probably do that, um, you know, once or twice a day. I wouldn't overdo it too much because you don't want to further damage that plantar fascia inside.